Dad doesn't want a dog. Family gets a dog anyway. Dad and the dog. People, let me tell you about my best friend. Aw, yeah. Look at these two lovebirds. Boo, here is my school report card. Hmm. Okay, let's do better next time. And here is your home report card. Home report card. Effort, diligence, kindness, chores, all A's. You did well. Aw, thanks, Mom. When the oldest person in your friend group finally gets a driver's license? Aw, yeah, the boys are mobile now. Uh, the creature accepts gentle hand pats. Haha, <laughs> I was attempting not to appear desperate. You failed. Thank you. The one cloud in the sky? Me driving straight at the sun on my way to work every day. Thank you, Cloud. Thank you so much. I'm officially single. Well, then let me be the first to officially hit on you. How's it going, gorgeous? Want me to take you out for some coffee? <laughs> Yeah, good. Now drop the face and let's go hang out with the rest of the squad. Yeah, you know, breakups suck, but when you have friends, it sucks a little less. Let's take it slow. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> That's so sweet. Let go of the remote. Never. Come on, son. This is the first in a long time that I've had the day off on Saturday. But dad, I woke up early so I could watch cartoons. Yeah, well... What? But I was gonna watch cartoons. Oh, I thought you were gonna watch sports. Uh, no, I wanted to watch Spongebob. A few moments later. Are you ready, kids? Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Spongebob Squarepants! Your hair looks really nice today. Why, thank you. Your beard looks nice too. Oh, why, thank you. You see, compliments make the world go round. When you play a game on easy difficulty because you just want to enjoy the story. I'm not very good at it, but it doesn't matter. Help! Fire! Fire! Don't worry, I'm on my way. Ma'am, I'm here. Where's the fire? In my heart, for you. Oh, okay. Ooh, a message in a bottle. I wonder what it says. Huh, it says, do you guys want to hang out? Hi, guys! Nice girl bike. Nice girl hormone supplements. Nice transition. I'm happy it was successful. Yeah, well, thank you for all your support. Honestly, I did not see this coming. That That's beautiful. My toy that I lost when I was seven. 21-year-old me. You're just as beautiful as the day I lost you. Sometimes you feel numb, so numb, but every once in a while, you see something nice, and then everything is colorful again. You know what? You're absolutely right. It might not be like that every day, but your day will come. We should sleep in the living room tonight. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Floor, Floor mattress. mattress! Oh yeah, let's go. Plop. Happy? Yee. Aw, that's cute. You're back. I missed you. Oh. I only went upstairs for like 10 minutes. Yeah, but for clingy people like me, that feels like an eternity. Mom telling me there's no way I can eat all these veggies. Five-year-old me. Oh yeah, well I'll show you what's up. Hey, isn't that the if animal from Aylaris' YouTube later. channel? I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, this thing is adorable. I'm not where I want to be, but I'm proud I'm not where I used to be. It's the journey that makes it meaningful, I promise you. What a positive attitude. Okay, son, help me wash the dishes. Why? And help me dust the countertops. But why? And do the laundry. Why? But really, why, Dad? Who did all my chores? That's so sweet. That's why. Oh, I get it. May I befriend your creature? You may. I will now request all information about them. My expertise. To me, your existence is centered only on this creature. Inaccurate statement. I'm kinda liking these guys. Get used to them, cause I'm pretty sure they're in the video for a while. But enough meta commentary, next meme. This just in, school canceled forever. La 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 la, I made cookies. Yay. Ugh. Mommy, I had a bad dream. There, there, sweetie. Don't worry, child. Daddy's always watching at the foot of your bed. <laughs> oh, I was not prepared for this meme. I guess I never asked myself what do monsters do when they have nightmares. But you know what? I actually like this depiction. Girlfriend pointing out how her cheeks get red when she drinks. Me assuring her that it looks so damn cute. Aw, you mean it? In reality, the raccoon's like, <gasps> It's so shiny. Did you know hearing your name when no one is actually calling you is a sign of a healthy mind? The ghost who calls out my name to make me feel healthy? There you go, bud. Now have a good day. Psst. Hey, hey, wake up. Hey, so this is my first time haunting, so I'm just gonna go ahead, okay? Okay. Okay. Woo, I'm rattling chains and I'm on the TV screen. I'm ripping out pages of your book. Ooh. So what do you think? Mm. Nine out of 10. Hey, that's pretty good. Nine-year-old me with a lighter. Kaboom. My dad finally letting me light a firework. Yes, Rico, kaboom. Me taking mood stabilizers, working out, cleaning my room, and finally loving life. My depression, anxiety, and bipolar disorder. Ah, <gasps> uh, no, he wasn't ready for it. You had to do it to him. This device prevents the creature's escape. Mmm, so effective. The creature's digits lack the necessary dexterity. Precisely. Mm. 
The creature is using its eyes. So effective. Yeah, when the dog hits you with the puppy eyes, you, you just gotta give them what they want. Oh, it's Winnie the Pooh and Mickey Mouse. Oh, that's actually really nice. Your greatness is not what you have, but what you give. Oh, well, that's lovely. It's coming back, isn't it? The storm? Yes. We might have to be okay with just managing for a bit, but we'll see it through. Abduction, parts one through four. Okay, the dog being taken by the UFO. Welcome aboard. Please enter the experiment room. <gasps> it's all dogs. Why are you experimenting on us? We love dogs, but we don't have any on our home planet. We have managed to replicate every piece of human technology, like roller coasters, selfie sticks, and motorcycles. Uh, but not dogs. Why don't you just take some dogs back with you? We have studied dogs. We know that to take them from their owner would be a terrible crime. Ooh, I have an idea. Meanwhile, at the dog shelter, all the strays are being abducted. And boom, everyone wins. I think I like boys and girls. I'm proud of you no matter what, kid. I uh, get it. Bye, son. Bop it. Yeah. Twist it. Too easy. Forgive yourself. I'll try. When I meow to a cat and it meows back, I am one with nature. Dad, look at that smelly old dog. Yikes, someone needs to put that animal out of its misery. On it. Here, boy, fetch. Aw. My favorite part of the morning is waking up next to you. Oh, you're too kind. Seriously, when you love Zamati, it doesn't matter if they have makeup on, what they're wearing. It doesn't matter. You're, you're looking at them through rose-tinted glasses, and honestly, they're always going to be beautiful. When a stranger helps me without making me feel stupid. Good job, human. You're awesome. We always seem to find each other. In every lifetime, we're never apart. Hmm? Oh. Hmm. Huh? Oh, there you are. Okay, this is sweet and all, but how unfair is that? One person gets born as a flower and the other gets born as a son. If I was the other flower, I'd be like, I wish I could be the son. Today, I did one thing. It may not seem like a lot, just one task. It's more than when I could do nothing. I'm getting better. Yes, you are. I don't know who needs to hear this, but remember, it's, it's all about taking it day by day. What they wanted you to buy after watching the Adrex advert, the classic clean tissue. What you actually buy, the dog in the picture. Ah, it's so cute. Papa, you sit there and don't move. Uh, all right. I'm gonna draw you. No, 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 this is all wrong. Wait, I got this. Yes, my masterpiece. <gasps> It's beautiful. I'm glad you like it, Dad. What did you do today? Hmm? Managed. Oh, like I said, managing is enough. Anxiety, depression, 2020 in life. My mom calling me to randomly say she loves me. 21 year old me. Yeah, mom, thanks. I love you too. A robot army attacking the world. My grandma who always says thank you after talking to Alexa. 2020. Grandma, you wholesome lady, you've always protected my humanity. And for that, thank you. I'm a bit nervous, doctor. If you stay still, I'll gift you my reflector. The doctor gifted me his reflector for being brave. Do you want to trap carbon dioxide in ephemeral spheres? For what purpose? Enjoyment. Ah, uh, okay. I, I could read this or I could turn it into a song. I think I'll turn it into a song. I love the trees, I love the bees, I quite adore the bumblebees. I love this place and outer space, but most of all, I love your face. Roar, I'm Godzilla, and you're the Empire State Building. Ah, uh, you're thinking of King Kong. Buildings can't talk, Dad. I want to be cuddled. Time to press my butt against him. Doesn't seem to be working. Must press on. Ah, oh, come on, cuddle me. Hey, you're pushing me off the bed again. Quick, grab me for safety. Ah, that's a thousand IQ play right there. It's either cuddle or be knocked off the edge, Lion King style. They'll be like, fine, you won't cuddle me? Long live the king and just let you fall. Are you sure she'll be safe around the dog? <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Eight, nine, ten. We're done. 60 second break. Man, it's gonna take forever to look as buff as you. Building muscle takes time, bro. But as your friend, I can see that you've trained the most important muscle. Wow, what's that? Your heart. Ooh. I am going to pin you down right here and tell you you're beautiful until you believe me. Well, I guess we'll be here till the end of the universe. Hmm, I'm fine with that too. Haha, -ha, joke's on you. I wanted to spend the rest of eternity with you. By the way, I don't know who needed to hear this, but you're beautiful. I love you. All right, back to the video. Perfection is overrated. I think you're very wise to choose happiness and love. Wise words. Wanting to talk to you all night. Wanting you to get a good sleep. Oh goodness, what do I do? What's the matter, kid? Got no friends? Nope, none. Wait, really? My heart hurts for you. It's nice to meet you. I'm Brock and that's Corey. We'll be your friends. Five-year-old me trying to convince my mom to buy me something. Hey, come on, please. I really want it. See, if only I looked as cute as this kitten, then I might have actually gotten something. Carrying my dog up and down the stairs because he's 
old and his back legs can't make the climb. It ain't much, but it's honest work. Tech support. Hello, thank you for calling tech support. How may I help you today? Hello, is anybody there? Well, take your time. When you're ready, I'm here to help. 25 minutes of silence later. H hello? Thank you for answering my call. Bye. You're welcome. I'm always here for you. Tech support? More like tech life support. Bees never visit me. Is something wrong with me? Nope. You're perfect. Kiwi self-improvement tips. Tip number one, exercise with a friend. Kiwi! Tip number two, drink lots of water. That's not coffee. Kiwi! Tip number three, take small hops towards your goals. Tip number four, appreciate where you are in life. Tip number five, try something new. Aw, yeah. Tip number six, surround yourself with positive positivity. Yeah, all right. Yeah. I love you guys. I have practiced a lot. I can do this. I am ready in three, two, one. Uh, Jason? Present, teacher, says the introvert. Hey, man, it takes a lot of energy to do that. I am the sword of adventure. Take me with you, and we shall go on the most wonderful escapades imaginable. Quest? Quest. Quest! There goes one lucky sword. When you come straight out of the shower without makeup and Bay tells you you're beautiful. Aw, thank you. I got the job. Thank you for helping me look more normal. Anytime. Are you winning, son? No, I'm not. But thank you for taking an interest in my hobbies, even though you might not fully understand them. You're a great dad. I threw the ball. And where did you bring it? Back to me. Good boy. Don't be sad. Enjoy the little things. What if everything is little? Then enjoy everything. <laughs> okay. Me doing weird stuff yeah my friends joining me yeah ah oh, that's nice stunning night only the moon is missing haha <laughs> not anymore oh man now it's perfect when your dad who just started understanding memes hits you with the okay boomer hmm i'll allow it dad there's a fat ugly monster under my bed now now son we do not fat shame in this house Ah, hey, you are beautiful hey thanks man that means a lot when the teacher needs tech support and everyone turns around and stares at you Whom's have summoned the almighty one Oh, I know this definitely ain't me. Me comes home after a long day. My dog. Doggo 6, go and bark. You look like a shark. <laughs> I do? Sharks are my favorite. Oh, oh, thanks. When a person enters and exits your life without impacting your mental health in a negative way. <gasps> I didn't know anybody could do that. My friend who had a family sports car and house at age 25 and traveling the world. Me who got half price on chalky milk. Ah, yeah. Hi, Auntie Renee. Can you tuck me in? Oh, of course I can, my little cavity. Up you go. Now rest in peace. Rest in peace to you too, auntie. Oh, oh, it's a little creepy, but it's still sweet. Some days it'll feel impossible to get out of bed and that's okay. Take the time you need to replenish your soul so that you can be the best you again. We got this. Some kind stranger making my day. Making some kind stranger's day. Hey, thanks, man. No, no, thank you. Getting poor grades in school doesn't mean you're stupid. Well, if that ain't the truth, it's all about believing in yourself. When you get home from working six extra hours of overtime and see your dog, twice the weight, double the love. I've been looking forward to this. When the teacher wheeled in the TV and you knew it was time for Bill Nye the Science Guy. Ten-year-old me, mm, perfect. Bay, can you grab the groceries out of the trunk for me? Me sees the PS5 in the trunk. <laughs> this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. One awesome thing about Eeyore is that even though he's basically clinically depressed, he still gets invited to participate in adventures and shenanigans with all his friends. They never expect him to pretend to feel happy and they never leave him behind or ask him to change. They just show him love. You know, I always wanted Eeyore to be happier, but in the end, at least he was always appreciated. My grandma, when are you getting a girlfriend? Me, grandma, I have a boyfriend. My grandma, that's all right. What matters is that everyone is happy. Aw, thanks grandma. When I was your age, I defeated Nazis in Holland on Xbox or PlayStation. <laughs> You're such a joker, Jeff. I'm glad you visit me every week. I love you too, granddad. Me, in the middle of teaching a lesson. Student, frantically raises his hand. Me, yes. Student, I like your socks. I mean, it's disruptive, but it's also very sweet. Hey, listen here. I want you to take care of Fat Tony. Uh, you got it, boss. Hey, Fat Tony, we gotta talk. Yeah, Tony, run the miles. Ah, look at your Fat Tony. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Slim Tony. Hey, thanks, man, but... You can call me Tony. I hate being a box. Everyone only cares about what I have inside. Hmm? <laughs> oh, yeah! Uh, excuse me, I need a job. Hmm. 
Well, the SNR sign is missing. Oh yeah, I can totally fix this. Hey, looks nice, man. Oh, I see you reversed it. Now the fire sitting there like, this is fine. Well, to be fair, anybody surrounded with these adorable dogs would be fine. In fact, they'd probably be more than fine. They'd probably feel great. Me remembering I didn't kiss my wife and tell her I love her before I left for work? Yep, just gonna put this in reverse. Me in the second grade coming to class after the dentist told me I was very brave. Mm-hmm, that's right. I know it. Quest? No, sweetie, it's bedtime. Quest? How about we go on a quest to find the dream princess. Hmm. Works every time. My friends and family, me consistently and systematically ruining my life for years. I'm pretty tired. I think I want to be a better person now. <gasps> They're actually doing it. Give us a hug. Never. Ah, come on. Give us a hug. I said never. Hmm, finally, they're asleep. Aw, oh, that's sweet. Congrats, Dad. Dad? What's happening? What have you done? My abs! No! <coughs> working hard or hardly working? Oh no, his inner dad is awoken. Life is pain. Hmm, no, no, no. Life is pain, ua chocola. Ah, oh, now that's better. How to use the bathroom when you're scared. One, pick up your pet. Two, use the pet as a ghost shield. Three, trap him. Look, I know you were sleeping, but I need your assistance. Just wait a sec. What the F, man? Step four, return. Hey, it's Baymax. <gasps> the dragon from How to Train Your Dragon. I'm gonna be honest, I'm personally on the Big Hero 6 side. I don't know much about the How to Train Your Dragon franchise, so I'm gonna have to go with Baymax here. But either way, they're both adorable. Things that are more fun to spread than panic. Peanut butter, jam, Nutella, and kindness. I have come for your soul. Uh, actually, I've put all my heart and soul into my artwork. Huh? Oh, uh, can I have this one then? Of course you can. Bye. Have a good time. The sky was gray. It was raining. Leaves fell down as the wind and rain droplets landed on my window. Ah, what a beautiful day. Take these books, my love. Books are the key to unlocking your dreams. You see, I believe in you. <laughs> Yay, cookies! Well, he did say that books would be the key to unlocking her dreams, so I, mean, I guess she was dreaming about cookies. Hug me. But we're buildings. Doesn't matter. I need it. Okay, bring it in. Aw. Me sticking to home on the Reddit app where I only see positive and uplifting content to better my mental health. Hey, that's pretty good. Yep, today's gonna be a good day. I wish I had plans for the holidays. Well, you're welcome to join my family. Ooh, what do you guys do? Mainly sleep. <laughs> Best holiday ever. <laughs> abducting Jerry. Thank God, I never liked him. Yeah, me neither. Welcome, Jerry. They didn't deserve you, Jerry. The fake food I made out of leaves? Five-year-old me? Isn't it delicious? And the parents are just like, yeah, totally. But in their head, they're thinking, oh God, not the leaves again. My stomach can't take this. I need to exercise. Well, I need to nap. Hmm. Best ab workout ever. More like best nap spot ever. My friends, I'm really proud of you. Me, after quitting smoking for eight months, Aw, thank you. Dad 1 sees Dad 2. Oh no, here comes trouble. Dad 2. Oh boy, they let you out of the house? Ah uh, yeah, the dad vibes don't get better than this. When you can no longer remember how many years it has been since your last cigarette? Okay, okay, wait, hold up a second. This is really good, all right? And I, I wanna let you have your moment. But why are you using like the success baby meme from like the early 2000s? <laughs> I thought we were done with this meme. You're bald. Huh? Like me. You're a hero. <laughs> huh? You're you're wrong, little girl. I am a pathetic, unemployed man who is just a hero for fun. Oh. Because hmm? the true hero is you. He had us in the first half, I'm not gonna lie. Good job, One Punch Man. Mom. I cook dinner. Can you please help out and do the dishes? No problem. Go relax, Mom. Yeah, that's right. My family. For sure, when he gets a girlfriend, he'll mature. My girlfriend and I. Rawr, we're dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, if that's not couple goals, I don't know what is. I saw a rainbow the day I quit drinking. I don't know if I believe in miracles, but now with one year of sobriety, I know that I can believe in myself, and that's a miracle. You can't do it. Hmm. 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 Congratulations, you passed your thesis. Hmm. See, I can do it. How my goals have changed. Get married before 30. Nah, nah, get married when I'm ready. Retire with millions. No, retire with memories. Get a high paying job. Nah, more like get a job that I'm passionate about. Be the best. How about be present? Make my parents proud by being happy instead of successful. Find an attractive partner, or rather find someone who I deeply connect with. And it's not about living a long life, it's about living a fulfilling
fulfilled life. I don't know about you, but I like their revised list a whole lot more. <laughs> you're cute. Aw, you're cute too. Ah, they're blushing. Either that or it's fall. Either way, they're both cute. Like girl, ask her out. She just wants to be friends. Wait, she just wants to be friends? Haha, <laughs> I finally have a friend. Mission accomplished. Me, when I gain loads of stretch marks due to anorexia recovery. Oh no. Anyway, you're fighting severe depression. Huh. But you're actually winning the fight. <laughs> Aw, yeah. My dad talking about his engineering job. My uncle? Yes, yes, I see. Seven-year-old me acting like I understand because I build Legos. He's just sitting there like, Uh-huh, yeah, it all makes sense now. <laughs> <laughs> when you go back to watch an old YouTuber and they still use the same intro. Ah, uh, beautiful. Just darn right beautiful. Relationships should be 50-50. We're two halves of a whole idiot. And you know what? You shouldn't have it any other way. I gotta go. But we're having so much fun. Here, I want to give you something to remember me by. Hmm, okay. <gasps> Yay, a sprinkler. My mom working two jobs to support us. Me and my sister. Haha, <laughs> thanks mom. It whistles. <sighs> Looking good, baby. Aw, thank you, wind. I got a color-changing atmosphere lamp. Look, it flickers like a lantern flame. Oh, beautiful. Hmm. Hey, you're not looking at it. I wanted to look at you looking at it. You see, this is some serious couple stuff right here. When I found out my unemployed, depressed friend had got a full-time job and was now engaged to the love of his life. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, dude. When it's picture day and the lady asks you for your best smile. Is this good? What about this one? Beautiful. Both of these pictures? Mwah. Excellent. Look out, shark! <gasps> Thank you for saving me. All in a day's work. Hey, are you busy later? <laughs> My job here is done. When you finally discover the source of negativity in your life and you decide you've had enough. <clears throat> Emergency meeting. Get that negativity out of here. Hey, nerd, I found a girl for you. Come check her out. That's not a girl. That's a grill. Ha, got you out of your lair. Come on, man. Have a hot dog. Mmm, delicious. I need to work on asking for help from others. So I figured I'd practice with you, Ducky. I'm not okay and I could really use your help. Huh, that wasn't so bad. Thanks, Ducky. Meanwhile, in the Ducky's brain, I will protect you with every fiber of my being. You're an endangered species. Aw, but you've been added into Minecraft, which will bring more awareness about your situation and maybe we can fix it. Oh, now that should make the axolotl happy. Enjoy the little things in life because one day you'll look back and realize they were the big things. You have the Discord member saying, GG, see you tomorrow. Last seen online two years ago. Aw, what a shame. Ooh, a spooky story. Ah, oh, that was way too scary. I'm too spooked to leave the bed. Ooh, is everything okay? I read a spooky story and now I'm too scared to get a snack on my own. Hmm, this is the third time this week. Wait a second, if a literal ghost won't scare this penguin, what the heck was in that book that did? When you're in an argument, but you realize you love the person unconditionally. Why, Ayata? You know what? It's cool. Eight-year-old me, homesick. Bob Barker and The Price is Right. I feel like this is such a childhood memory. Like you're sick, you're just at home and you have nothing to do, so you turn the TV on and you just end up watching The Price is Right. I don't know, I can't explain it, but yeah, that's just how it is. When your grandma's badass and also loves to crochet. No way, that is next level. Your grandma has some serious talent. Well done. Get yourself a girl slash boyfriend who looks at you like Arnold looks at the mountain. You see the admiration in this dude's eyes? It's beautiful, man. If heat bothers you, plant a tree. If the water bothers you, plant a tree. If you like fruits, plant a tree. If you like birds, plant a tree. And if you like life, plant many trees. Me, wearing the ugly shirt that my grandma gave me, because I know it'll make her happy. What do you mean, ugly shirt? That shirt right there is beautiful. You're gonna be walking around town like the stud you are. Thanks, grandma. Looking at your bed when it's a rainy night and you don't have to work in the morning. Ah, uh, yeah, you know what time it is. Comfy bed, here I come. How to care for a mini crewmate. Give affection. Feed them. Tuck them into bed. Tell them you love them. Teach them tasks. Stay with them till the end. Ah, uh, yes, because this is the way. Homeless people sleeping with an empty stomach. Seek dudes? We don't do that here. Come on, have some food. Here she comes. Try not to blush. Hmm. Hi. Uh, <laughs> uh, hi. Did you know that cats were considered sacred in ancient Egypt? We were a symbol of grace and poise. Hmm. Did you know that I'm a very good boy? My owner tells me this all the time. Dinosaur facts. Six-year-old me. Some random cashier working for minimum wage. The poor employee's just like, yeah, T-Rexes are cool and all, but do you want a happy meal with that? Me, watching a simplified science video so I can talk about her interests. My girlfriend, a certified doctor and a PhD student. Hey, you know, it's the little things that count. I'm gonna jump! Hup, mm. <sighs> nice jump! 
Thanks! <sighs> What's wrong? Sometimes I just feel like a failure. Okay. Well, sometimes I feel like a shark. <laughs> I mean, I guess that goes to show you that sometimes you may feel like something that you're absolutely not. Don't get it twisted. That cat is definitely not a shark and you're definitely not a failure. Getting socks for Christmas as a kid. Hmm, I wanted toys. Getting socks for Christmas as an adult. <gasps> This is exactly what I wanted. So Todd, what made you so in love with cars and racing? Well, ever since I was a kid, I had a thing for speed and stuff with wheels. That's also how I met my wife. Aw. <laughs> the guy saw them wheels and he was like, ah uh, yeah, you're the one. It's dangerous to go home alone. Take this. Uh, thank you. I, I don't know how this is gonna protect me, but you know what? I'm happy. There are two heavens, dog heaven and human heaven. Hold up, doggo, let me get to you. Whoa! Ooh, crap. Huh, this is actually better. It's a long tail. Hmm, I'm all ears. No, really, I got some pretty long ears. Tell me about it. Oh my gosh, congratulations. Did you just eat a burrito? <laughs> yeah. You're glowing. You're so beautiful. You see, it's compliments like these that keep the world going. All right, everyone, raise your hand. All right, little hand, come here. I'm gonna raise you to go to school and live the best life you can. I love you, hand. You know, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think this is what they meant when they said raise your hand, but you know what? You got the spirit. Time to change into something more comfortable. All right, here we go. <laughs> wow, you look stunning. I mean, to be fair, for a lot of people, if you like the person, it doesn't matter if they're in like a ballroom gown or if they're just in some comfy clothes. They're gonna look amazing to you no matter what. The boy's playing literally any online game. Yeah, Punch yeah, yeah, hit him uh -huh, in the face. Yeah. When we find out a homie is trying to ask out a girl, we gather the council here today to discuss what exactly he should do. Uh, I yes, agree, yes, yes. yes. Uh, I'm mm -hmm. glad to yep. be here. Sounds good. Compliment, men. Compliment hanging over men's head. I'm just gonna grab this compliment here. Yeah, that that's nice. Just because I'm mad doesn't mean I stop caring. Hmm, you're lucky I love you. Mm. Oh man, I must be really hungry. Hey you, have a baguette. <gasps> Just what I needed. Here, you can have half too. And then the person on the crutches is like, here cat, you can have some too. And the cat's like, here you go ants, you can have some too. And the cycle just keeps going on. I mean, what can I say? Sharing happens to be one of the kindest acts you can do. Sweet dreams. You too. Meanwhile, in their dreams, aw, they're dreaming of each other. I mean, with dreams like those, how could you not have sweet dreams? When you have an argument with your best friend, F you and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, yeah, to be fair, where are you really gonna go? They're your best friend. When you put on fresh clothes, that are still warm from the dryer. Ah yes, now you can sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of your day just a little bit warmer. What could be better? Many people play video games on easy mode. And that's okay, because games are supposed to be fun and relaxing, not stressful. Ah, you see, now that's nice. When one act of kindness creates a lifelong friendship. I fixed a pigeon's wing, and so he went to fetch his girlfriend, and now they live in my house. Oh, I love that. The pigeons are like, I mean, this guy helped me, so I mean, that's basically an invitation to live with them. He goes to get his girlfriend, they're like, honey? we're moving in. Bad day or not, I still care about you. Mm. You are a good wolf and you deserve good things. Mm. I'll give you some space, but I'm here for you. <laughs> ah, yes. As angry as they appear, they're still wagging their tail. What an easy tell. Look, dad, a nerd. You know what we do to nerds, right? Yeah. Learn from them. Ah, well, you see, Venus rotates in the opposite direction to most other planets. Wow. So cool. You throw like a girl. Hmm. You dress like a girl. You fight like a girl, too. Huh. Thanks for supporting my transition, Dad. Ah, I love you too, sweetie. Huh. There. A voodoo doll of myself. Come here, little guy. Oh, that's genius. Man, if voodoo dolls were a thing, this is exactly what a lot of people would do with them. Hmm. <gasps> That skunk is going to be my girlfriend. Ah, uh, should we tell him it's a cat? You know what? Nah, he'll be fine. When you meet your six-year-old cousin and he knows when to say please, thank you, and sorry. I like your magic words, little man. Me ordering something. My little sibling playing shop. Ah, uh, yes, so that's gonna be $12 million. The present? Dear Satan, I want a pony. Love, Jack. I think our son needs glasses. Look, he spelled Santa wrong. Wait, so I came here for nothing? My friend has a lot of homework. Let's help him out. Uh, thank you so much. Years later. Hey, it's nice to know that you graduated. Thanks to you. You always help me with homework. I see you're doing very good too. Yeah, I got married, I had a child, and I'm expecting my second. My husband is very hardworking, just like you. So clearly the original meme was something that was just flat out ridiculous, but you know what? I like this one way better. Where would you like me to take you, little one? The Steel Cap Mountains? The Iron Bog? Quest! Oh, uh, on a quest, eh? Very well. Quest! 
This looks like a noteworthy adventure. Time to destroy you nerds once and for all. Huh? Qu quest! You're right, that one's much too scary. Wait, what? Huh? Oh look, that cat is stuck in a tree. Haha, -ha, quest! When a stranger on the internet gives me a small compliment, I will cherish this comment forever. Can I take your temperature? You seem pretty hot. No thank you, I feel perfectly fine. Oh, I was flirting. Ah, smooth. What are you making? A potion. Really? Looks like regular old soup. It's a soul warming potion. And if you drink enough of this soup, it'll warm your soul so much that you'll feel like you're internally burning for the rest of your life. <laughs> Oh, wait a second, this is wholesome memes. Hold on, let me calm down. <laughs> when you buy a skeleton to make creepy posts, but it's just happy to be adopted. Hey, I know I'm supposed to be scary and all, but I'm just so happy to be here. We'll just stay in bed for a few more hours. Have some cold pizza, open your mouth. Hey, open your mouth. Wait, depression, that son of a... Ha <laughs> ha, I got away. I'm ready for Halloween. Man, I don't have the heart to tell him that was yesterday. Hey guys, how do I look? Amazing. Amazing. Ah, true friends. A mosquito? Ah. Not in my human best friend's house. You see, thank you, Spider, for protecting us. Don't like people, huh? I don't like talking to people. Hmm. But I like talking to you. Aw. My mom always reads my comics. Hmm. Hey, mom. I can just imagine the mom reading this like, Hi, son. I love you, too. What a beautiful sunset. Oh, sorry. Am I blocking the view? <laughs> you are my view. Ah, these guys are such flirts. I love to see it. What if the coins you find randomly at the bottom of drawers and in between couch cushions are actually from spiders trying to pay rent? Oh, you got a lot of spiders living there, pal, but don't worry, they're probably friendly. What is your aim in life? Hmm, uh, gain knowledge and study a lot, but what I truly want is love. Me too, bud. I miss that movie. Wait, I'm all alone? Never have been, bud. Never have been. Do you have any ambitions? Hmm, not really any big ones. I guess I just want to go to sleep with a smile more often. I think you'll get there, bud. Aw, thanks, Mr. Kitty. Don't make me angry! You won't like me when I'm angry! No, no I wouldn't. Because your anger is a negative emotion. I want you to be happy, which is a positive emotion. I care about you. It's okay. Mwah. <gasps> Thank you, I'm sorry, I'm just angry sometimes. Me, every animal. You know, the cheetah may look bored and kind of pissed off, but look at the happiness radiating off of Post Malone. God, I wish I was that man. My dad, an astronomer. Six-year-old me spotting the Big Dipper, yay! Cool, I want a balloon hat too. Okay, um, um, oh, there we go. Thanks, guys, I feel like part of the crew. Some idiots. Insects can't be cute. Me, an intellectual. It's a little bumblebee, buzz, buzz. He's so cute to me, buzz, buzz. Do it now. Be brave. Will you conjoin and be one pair of scissors with me? Oh my god, yes I will. Aw, that's adorable. Me, let's my little brother win, although I could have won the match easily. My little brother who thought he was gonna lose. Oh no! Yay, I won! Good job, little bro. Time machine. I'm gonna miss you, pal. <laughs> Hey buddy, I got a time machine. You can fix all your life's problems. Oh my god, it's the solution. Hey buddy, we've got 12 years. Hey buddy, we've got 12 years. <laughs> hey buddy, we got 12 years. Damn it, I didn't want to cry over a comic. Oh no, oh man, I don't know if I can do this. You can totally do it. Keep it up. We believe in you. Go for it. Guys, I don't know. It's really hard. You can't do it. Yeah! Yeah! I'm gonna smack ya! Whack! <laughs> Childhood perception of what your parents do for you. Adult perception of what your parents did for you. <sighs> Hindsight's 2020. Don't have that. Have foresight or whatever it's called. I don't know, man. I'm trying to be cool. Shut up. <laughs> I choose you. I guess I got you. Wait, this actually happened in Pokemon? This is amazing. I need to watch the show again. Seven-year-old me when grandma makes cookies. Oh, yeah! 15-year-old me when grandma makes cookies. Oh, yeah! Grandma's cookies never get old. When a game has, and you, thanks for playing, in the special thanks section of the credits. <laughs> I'm such a proud meow meow right now. I'm such a proud meow meow. The Black Crow. The Dark Omen. The Harbinger of Death. Hey, a butterfly! Oh, I guess he's just a friendly crow. Can you point to where he touched you for the court? <laughs> He touched me right here. Full custody. Full custody. Yay, thanks, Dad. You got it, son. Crush, why do you like me? I'm not that cute. Also her. Aw, oh, don't worry. You're a cute little potato. Are you winning, Dad? 60 best jokes, Grant. 
Ow, my knee. Ow, I smacked my knee. I don't usually tell dad jokes, but when I do, he laughs. Ha, <laughs> good one, son. Follow me. I want to show you something. What time is it? Quick, look, a brand new day. What shall we do with it? I'm going back to sleep, but thanks for showing me. Son, you are dead to me. Thank you for accepting me for who I am, Dad. You're winning, son. You're truly winning. People on r slash Minecraft. Guys, I found my first diamond. I'm so happy. Me, who's been playing for eight years. You are on the verge of greatness, young one. The verge of greatness. When you're different from all your friends, but they still vibe with you. Bork, 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 muk. Aw, the cat looks so alarmed, yet so at peace. How I assume my parents' divorce would be. I want full custody. I'm more important. No, you see you in court. How it actually was. We may not love or even like each other anymore, but we still need to give our kid a happy childhood. Meaning we have to split time evenly and work together. Yes. Uh, there's two R's in what the one guy is saying at the bottom left, and also, God, I wish my parents divorced like this. Oh man, the comments saying I suck as an easy peasy narrator. Oh, uh, they're weighing me down. I'm gonna quit. Hey there, buddy. How about a little bit of a puppy hug? Aw, oh, thanks, dude. I will continue. Did you know we rank animals in intelligence? Really? What am I? You're like number one. You're just saying that. No, seriously, check it out, you're number one, you're the smartest animal. Besides humans, of course. When you're broke AF, but still donate five dollars to Wikipedia. It ain't much, but it's honest work. Thank you, Wikipedia. You passed all my classes in high school and still do to this day. I bet a lot of you guys won't admit that you play your games on the easiest difficulty. And that's okay, games are supposed to be fun, not stressful. Thank you for understanding. Some games, when they're stressful, they're fun, like Dark Sha Dark Souls, but like, you know, why don't for a war zone? I just want to have fun, man. Guys are allowed to show emotions and should be encouraged to do so. Thank you so much, Meme. You've, you've shown me the way. Others may not understand your work, but if you enjoy it, then it's perfect. You know what? That's a powerful message from a powerful painting. When you meet the other foreign exchange student, bonjour, guten tag. I am eternal. I know all and see all. You may ask one question, but if someone has asked it before, I will destroy you! Uh, how are you doing? You doing okay, bud? What? I just, it's so lonely down here, you know? I'm a giant eye with all the answers except for the answers to happen to us. That sucks, man, but don't worry. I'll be here for you as long as you need. Meow, 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 meow! Mr. Mittens, you have summoned I, Cthulhu! Here's a fish. Meow, meow. Kid, do you know any magic? Hmm. Hmm? Well, friendship is a kind of magic. You're hired. Come on, buddy, let's go on adventures. Winning a game, but playing alone. <laughs> Losing a game, but playing with friends. Yeah, man. Me gaming. Girlfriend learning the game so she can spend more time with me. A few moments later... My GF Gaming, me watching her to be sure she didn't miss anything. I'm proud of you, Bay. Who's a good boy? You are. I see all the efforts you make and I am proud. <laughs> Thank you, pupper. Doesn't see grandma for 0.4 days. Grandma. Okay, teeny dude is big now. <sighs> I'ma miss him. Me and my grandpa when there's nobody at our fishing spot. Oh yeah, grandpa. <laughs> That's right, Billy, let's go catch some fishes. Not today, not today. He's grooving out, baby. If opposites attract each other, why aren't hot people attracted to me? The obvious logic here is that you are the hot one. <gasps> you, you saved me, homie. Thank you. Mom, I don't feel okay. What's wrong? Eh, I can't remember. Thanks for the hug. I like you this much. I like you this much. Oh, dang. Thanks, Snakey. I see you've got your new toy mouse. Bring it to life so I can kill it, please. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> this is really cute, but also terrifying. He only wants to kill it. Urgh, I'm a spooky ghost. I was sword killed to death in these very woods. Oh, no, that's awful. Do you want to talk about it? What? I really do. Thanks there, buddy. No problem, dude. I will now torture you. Kinky. I think you are sweet and beautiful. You deserve to be cared for as much as you care for others. No, your feelings, our needs, are valid and deserve to be heard. 
I need a safe word. <laughs> this is so wholesome yet dirty at the same time. Gonna be late. Wait, gotta kiss my doggo. Hey, nerd. Nice sweater. Did your mom make that for you? Yeah, she did. That's nice. My mom made this scarf for me. They sure know how to keep us warm. Dang straight, little buddy. Could it be the sword of lies? You don't deserve a happy life. Well, I'm convinced. Now, how do we get out of here? Go left. Right it is. Thanks, buddy. You're a good sword. Sometimes what's missing? Ha! That is that a nightlight? <laughs> Only babies still have those. Is something you left behind. Aw. What's a meme? It's like a funny image, like this. Shows him a meme. Oh, okay. He makes his own meme and shows me it, hoping I'll like it, me. Nice meme, Dad. Thanks for understanding my interests. You should watch Easy Peasy videos, Dad. Wherever you are, I haven't spoke to you in years. Okay, moving on. Did you just take a picture of me eating a hot dog? Yes! Why? For the memories. The memories of me eating a hot dog? Yes! Financial struggles. Doesn't have time for fun. Overtime with no extra pay. My dad, do you need some money to hang out with your friends? Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Dad. My amazing girlfriend. My weird butt wondering how I landed her. God, I hope that's me one day. Still single as a Pringle. Hey, man, you look lonely and like you need an embrace. Share some of my algae slash moss. Oh, thanks, dude. Here is bad. Here is good. Here is good and bad. Here is bad and good. Here is life. Here is someone who made our childhood awesome. Thanks, Cartoon Network. You're the reason I'm a voice actor. That and Nickelodeon's avatar. At the shops, my mom. Go and find yourself something nice. Oh my god, I'm getting a chocolate bar! Wakes up in the middle of the night. Please don't be 6 a.m. Clock, 4 a.m. Yeah, baby! Two more hours of sleep! Can I have your number? Sure, my friend's watching. He did it, boys! Mission accomplished! Wingman achieved! Why do your orifices ooze? My body's reacting to something in the fibers. Then why are you touching them? Because we're best friends, that's why. <laughs> Ah, <sighs> did you make this oxygen for me? Thanks, tree buddy. Paige, can I give you something? Yes, I'd love that. Wait, that's a bookmark. Yeah, so I never lose my page. <laughs> that's so corny and it'd work. When your teenager kids all agree to save the last ice cream sandwich for mom. Oh, look at the little kitty. We got worried when you stopped coming to the park. How you doing, Frank? You need a hug? You need some bread? How about us to poop on some things? Just let us know. Moral. Whomever you're important to will look for you. My parents, peekaboo. Three-year-old me, oh my god! This would be a man that loves going to work and does not dread it the night before. Upon entering the Magic Kingdom, one of the security guards said to the girl, Excuse me, princess, can I have your autograph? I could see the, the book was filled with children's scribbles as the guard asked the same question of many little princesses. The little girl could not get over the fact that the guard thought she was a real princess. Okay, I'm smiling now. Thank you, meme. Me. Literally anything she does. Is this a reason to call you cute? Because damn right it is. When you finally get the recognition you deserve. You know, I watch these guys, and let me tell you, it's great to see him get the plaque. Now let's see if we can get easy peasy there. And after that, I don't know, the voice actor here's got a channel where he talks as Godzilla talking like this. That's almost at 200,000 subscribers. Maybe we get me to a million subscribers. Hey, maybe, maybe, but easy peasy first. Okay, moving on. You can be happy in a relationship, but you don't need a relationship to be happy. Huh, that makes me feel better about my life. Me praying for my mom to live until I'm successful so I can repay everything she has done for me. I'm exactly shooting for this goal. I want to buy her a house by the end of like five years from now. And I'm gonna do it! Three rules. No wishing for death, no falling in love, no bringing back dead people. I wish I could buy you a drink later. There are two rules. I fell in love. Hey, you gotta deal with us! Sure, right after my run. Phew! That was great. Now, uh, what did you guys want? Where'd they go? I, I can atone to this. I started running about a year and a half ago, and I've been such a happier person. Go for a run sometimes. Even if you're not good at it, it'll make you happier. Wait, we're all the same despite race, color, religion, gender, etc.? Always have been. Always have been, my bud. Me watching people on Reddit take male mental health seriously. Thanks, guys. You coming in or what? But what about the sharks? 
There aren't any sharks in the pool. No sharks. Bonus medal. Finally, a place for us, boys. I really like sharks, so this makes me happy. Oh, dude, that's so sweet. After all the years, he finally paid his brother back. You know, this is kind of like me and my brother. Except for I know he would not give me his kidney. Stress, bills, single parent, bad work hours. My single mom. Good morning, honey. What do you want for breakfast? Me. Pancakes, please. I was raised by a single mom, and this is so true, and that's why I'm buying her a house in five years. Mark my words. Sleeping next to someone you love helps you to fall asleep faster, reduces depression, and helps you live longer. I sleep next to my cat, so I can guarantee this does work. Your sadness. Me doing my best to make you smile one beam at a time. We're gonna do it. Here at Easy Peasy, we're gonna do it. It is over. You won't disturb my human anymore. Sleep well, my friend. Oh, that cat's a genius, isn't he? Respect, little dude. When someone walks by and their steps sync perfectly with the music in your headphones. Ah... If you want to be an astronaut, you gotta have the right stuff. I got my Nintendo Switch, some apple slices, and a note from my mom saying it's okay. That's the stuff. Climb aboard, kiddo. Whee! And then it's the Challenger, and they blew up. <laughs> Do you know what sucks? Everything. My god. <laughs> The best part about this whole comic is the little tiny note at the bottom. You're a hottie. Thank you. Best friend selfie. Don't forget to tag me. You're it, pal. You're it. Uh, I'd give anything to be good at baseball. Anything? <laughs> Thanks, Satan. Well, the truth is, I never really took your soul. The talent was in you the whole time. Oh, my God. When your favorite person sends you a text. Ah. Huh. That's pretty funny. I've wandered the entire ocean floor, searching for the ultimate treasure, but the journey was for naught. As the treasure laid within me the whole time, me, the voice that tells me I won't succeed, I'm gonna get you. That's right, I'm knocking you into submission, sucker. <laughs> Genie, I wish I was handsome. I cannot grant you that wish. Why not? I couldn't make you any more handsome. Oh, why thank you, Mr. Janie. I shall grant you three wishes. I wish my dog could talk. Done. Hey, buddy, you've got two wish- Oh my god, that's so cute. When I look up, all I see is darkness. It makes me feel so small, so alone. What do you see? My whole world. Aw. Say it again, King. I have worth as a person. Oh, yes, Daddy. <laughs> uh, do you think people can get along no matter their creed or color? Yes. Girls, ugh, boys only want sex and money. What boys actually want? Ah, uh, yes, nothing like a thigh pillow. Or maybe a booty pillow. What was your reaction when you heard that there were zero active cases of CO19 in New Zealand? Oh, me? I did a little dance. Is that going to be like the new dance craze? Is it going to be like the CO19 shuffle? Like, what would that even be like? It would be like, six feet now, y'all. Freeze! Everybody wear your mask. <laughs> Ask me anything. Make yourself uncomfortable. Why is everything about race? Black lives matter or all lives matter? Does institutional racism exist? White privilege, fact or fiction? What can I do? Why are people angry and rioting? Why are there black ghettos? My experience with racism? What is unconscious racism? I mean, you gotta love people like this. They open themselves up for conversation so people can ask questions and learn from their experience. It's just a good experience. Maybe not the most comfortable experience, but a good one nonetheless. Finished product, 17 artists from different walks of life in Charlotte, North Carolina. Hey, that's where I'm from. Oh, and that is just beautiful. <laughs> Tapping on the ATM. All right, bucko, just give me your money and... Account balance, negative $2.69. LOL, you're broke, boy. Oh man, hey man, you wanna come over? I can get you some chicken nuggets or something. <laughs> yes, please. Naked Australian man wrestles giant python to save his kitten. There was no way I was gonna stand by and let it eat the kitten. Oh man, you gotta love stories like this. It's where regular people just turn into straight up superheroes when they have to save their pet. I mean like one second you're a regular guy and then the next your pet's getting attacked and then boom, you're Superman. In 1981, a pediatrician saved the life of a 3.2 pound premature baby boy by working around the clock and beating the odds to stabilize him. In 2011, the same pediatrician was pinned inside a burning vehicle after a car collision, but was saved by a paramedic who turned out to be the premature baby he saved 30 years earlier. 
Oh wow, the odds of that happening are astronomically slim. But spiritual beliefs aside, it's kind of nice to think that, you know, you can put good into the world and you can get good out of it. Small pupper napping on a banana. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet dreams, you precious angel. My dad is fully recovered from battling CO19 for a whole month. He wasn't gonna let Cough Cough Sniffle take him down. Nah, 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 he's, he's a warrior. I told my grandma I was bisexual and she made me this. All right, this is really sweet, but it could also be a double-edged sword. Now every gift grandma gives you is gonna be rainbow themed. She gives you a cookie, boom, it's a rainbow cookie. She gives you a sweater, boom, it's a rainbow sweater. You, <laughs> you can't win. Ah, well, would you look at that beautiful lawn? Black Lives Matter. Because here at Easy Peasy, we really do value black lives. I mean, if that wasn't true, then I probably wouldn't be here. Because <laughs> I'm black. Boom. Surprise. I probably tricked half you fools. Boys, your bodies are perfect. You don't have to be 6'2 ripped and have a six pack to be handsome. It's okay to have a tummy or be skinny with no muscle. It's okay to be short and have acne. Y'all are handsome in your own way. Oh, thank you. But I gotta be honest. Short with acne. That pretty much sums me up. My daughter started her period on the bus ride home home today and a boy a year older than her that she doesn't really know pulled her aside and whispered in her ear that she had a stain on the back of her pants and gave her his sweater to tie around her waist so she could walk home off the bus. She said she was kind of embarrassed and originally said it's okay but the boy insisted and told her I have sisters it's all good. If you are this boy's mom I just want to say thank you and that you're raising him right. We hear so many bad things about today's youth and I wanted to share something positive. Oh, you're over here making me smile and junk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. That's just not fair. A dog and a butterfly? Like, how am I not supposed to smile to that? <laughs> <laughs> Dear Mr. Jones, we regret to inform you that your application for the Global Quality Manager has been unsuccessful. We don't normally respond to unsuccessful applicants, but in your case, we made an exception in order to return the five pound note you attached to the references section of your application under the line Elizabeth Wink Wink. Some notes regarding your application? Listing super secret spy work I can't legally talk about as previous work experience won't fool anyone. In the future, you might want to refrain from using sentences like, come on, man, let me be a part of this awesome gig you got going on. Also, eBay feedback isn't a relevant reference. Your attached sketch of an everlasting chocolate bar was unwarranted, absurd, and quite frankly, it scared us a little. We wish you the best in your future endeavors. Sincerely, Alan. Well, I don't know why they didn't hire this guy. He seems like a catch. But while we're here, can we talk about Alan's signature? Like, dude, what is this? I know it's a lot going on in the world right now, but I just found out I'm cancer free. Hey, you know what? That's awesome news. All right. Congratulations on beating cancer. And you know what? The world can be on pause for your celebration. All right. She said, I haven't been carried like this since my wedding day. Oh, aren't they a match made in heaven? Come on. Look at this. My cat is cuter than yours. Fight me. Haha, -ha, my ruse was successful. Now I have hundreds of super cute animal pictures to look at when I'm down. You stupid idiots fell right into my trap. Update, I had to get my first day of chemo, but I'm still very happy since it's the best thing to do. I celebrated by getting my nose pierced, cause why not? You know what, you look like a boss, and that piercing makes you look even cooler. So now when you go into chemotherapy, you're gonna kick cancer's butt, and you're gonna look like a boss doing it. I had the pleasure of sitting next to Hal on my flight back home. His daughter Pierce was our flight attendant who had to work over Christmas. Hal decided he would spend the holiday with her, so he is flying around the country to spend time with his daughter for Christmas. What a fantastic father. I wish you both a very Merry Christmas. All right, guys, if you own a number one dad thing, you gotta give it away, at least for this holiday, all right? That's only fair. We've been packing clothes to donate and found some of our old clothes from a couple years ago. <laughs> Oh, wow. Transformation skills 100. I was six years old when my dad told me he would give me $5 if I found a four-leaf clover. I spent hours looking for one in my yard. Today, I was watering my new trees and saw this. My dad's no longer with us, but I yelled at the top of my lungs, Dad, you owe me $5. <laughs> that is so sweet. Gosh, ah, uh, that that's wholesome. What is the kindest thing a stranger has done or said to you? Oh, God, I can't even tell this story and not cry. I used to manage an LGBT book bookstores when bookstores were still a thing. One night, a caller says he thinks he might be gay and is considering self-harm. We were not a crisis center, but as long as we're talking, he's safe, right? So I talk to this guy and I answer his questions. I try to be as encouraging as possible, although I'm probably sounding a little frantic and I'm definitely ignoring the four to five customers in the store. This angel of a woman puts her hand on my shoulder and asks for the phone. My turn, she says. 
and she, this 50-something lesbian, talks to this stranger on the phone, and a line forms behind her. Every customer in the store knows that call, knows that feeling, and every person takes a turn talking to that man. This story comforts me so much to this day. You're gonna make me cry. Is that what you want? You want me to cry? God. <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding. Ugh. My little girl told me she started her period. She couldn't find her mom, and so she told me first. I don't want my wife to know that I knew first. I don't want to steal that moment away from her. I'm just really happy my little girl trusts me enough to feel comfortable talking about her period with me. He calls me dad at. He's not afraid of my skin. He doesn't think I'm scary. He doesn't reject me when I kiss him. He just calls me dad at. Racism is a learned behavior and we have to stop teaching our children the wrong things. Sincerely, a black man raising a white son in 2020. Hashtag love what matters. Oh, I mean, this is so sweet and I, I don't want to seem like a jerk, but like, what if the baby was racist like the baby's born the dad picks it up and he's like oh my gosh daddy's a black man I, I gotta call the police so obviously you know racism is definitely taught you can't have a racist baby and if you did have a racist baby what do you do you can't return it you can't like throw it away you can't cancel it how are you gonna cancel a baby <laughs> <laughs> it's a stupid thought, but like for real, it would be a terrible mess. Not gonna lie, if Danny DeVito had a cooking show, I would definitely watch it. Heck, I'd probably guest star on it. I'm a baker after all. It's kind of cool to think that someone somewhere is having the best day of their life today. Someone is hearing I love you for the first time today. Someone's gonna get the job of their dreams today. Someone received some kind of good news today. Tomorrow, it could be your best day too, so keep on going. My nan has dementia, and every time she meets my dog for the first time and falls in love with him over and over again. Like every day she's like, this dog must really like me. It, it acts like it practically knows me. I volunteer for a dog rescue. We love seeing updates of the dogs in their new homes. This one made me smile. Oh, it's a baby Saurus and a dogosaurus. That's adorable. I had a blind professor last semester and I swung through his office to make up an exam. It was a while before I knew he was even in there because he was sitting with the lights off. I finally went in, apologized, and took the exam by the light of a nearby window, which was fine. 45 minutes into dead silence and he panicked and yelled in his booming voice, wait, you can see, before diving across his desk to turn on the lights. I'm sure he was embarrassed, but I thought it was endearing and it highlighted a large aspect of the disabled life that I hadn't previously considered. Sort of relatedly, I once had a professor who was deaf, but she had learned to read lips and speak so she could communicate easily with hearing people who didn't know sign language. One day, she had gotten off topic and was talking a little about her personal life. So then one of the students said, oh, I know, I grew up in Brooklyn too. She stared at him for a long time and said, how did you know I'm from Brooklyn? And he said, you have a Brooklyn accent. She said, I do? And the whole class nodded, and then she burst out laughing and said, I had no idea. The school where I learned to speak was in Brooklyn, so I learned by moving my mouth and tongue that way. Oh wow, that's kind of cool. This nurse realized that the last time she met her new co-worker doctor was when she cared for him years ago as a premature baby. Oh my goodness, the odds of that happening are so slim. And is it just me or does this guy give off some PewDiePie vibes? Story time. I went to Ali's Donuts this morning and after an hour of waiting in line and getting ready to pay, Sam, from the picture below, jumped ahead of me and paid for the next 150 donuts for people waiting in line. Thank you, Sam. I owe you a beer. Man dresses up in ridiculous costumes to embarrass his wife on Zoom calls. <laughs> What's wrong, honey? You can't expect me to protect the city of Gotham and your reputation at work. I'm Batman for Christ's sake. Dwight has lived in Brooklyn since 1970. He's playing James Brown from his laptop in a speaker for all the protesters in Prospect Heights today. Oh, come on, put some respect on Dwight's name. Ladies and gentlemen, DJ Dwight. I feel good. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. My son was having nightmares after watching The Lion King, so I painted him a portrait of me absolutely starching the evil lion. Yeah, take that, Scar. Long live my fist. Linda says, so there's like eight of us that have lost an eye during these protests, and we're starting to find and talk to each other, and it's kind of hilarious. Three of us are going camping to clear out our heads and just process together. And God bless the internet that makes that possible. So I make cybernetic implants and if any of you want a bionic eye, I'll happily make whatever you want custom. Oh, it's crazy to think that people are actually losing their eyes, but I mean, it's cool of this guy to be giving out bionic ones. <gasps> oh my God, it's real life Firefox logos. I've just adopted an 84 year old woman called Jackie from the co-op. She was looking bewildered and I asked if she was okay. Turns out she's all by herself. Her family all live in Holland and she lives around the corner from me. We decided to be coronavirus buddies. Aw, it's the dog's Twitter. There's a guy on YouTube who 
goes around helping feral cats and his video titles just read like he's constantly in a state of anxiety over what cats think of him. Two kittens are afraid of me as always. Only one cat is not afraid of me. Two kittens don't want to be friends with me. Friendly cats, but a white cat does not love me. Oh. My girlfriend recently went back to college to get her bachelor's and studies by reading out loud. I tell her it doesn't bother me because I just put on my headphones and listen to music. Truth is, I almost never turn on music and listen to her and I'm so proud of her. Oh. I knew a guy who was sold weed in high school and college. One time he made pop brownies to sell. In the process, he discovered a love for bacon. Dude's a pastry chef now. Wears cute aprons. Delivered a 450 gram baby. Told she was too small. Had no chance. She kept stopping breathing, so I stayed up with her for two nights, rubbing her chest for every breath. Consultant said I was wasting my time. She just performed her first ballet as a healthy six-year-old. Hell yeah. This bear was accidentally brought to the dog shelter and had a great time. Illusion 100. My dad surprised my mom for their 30th anniversary and had a bench dedicated to her at the park where they always walked together. Aww. My dad and I shared the same name. After starting Microsoft, people used to ask him if he was the real Bill Gates. I always hope he says yes. I hope he tells them that he's all the things the other one aspires to be. Happy Father's Day to the real Bill Gates. Oh man. I grew my hair out over a year to be Bob Ross for Halloween. My wife was a happy little tree. A match made in heaven. Garbage men taking a break. <laughs> That's awesome. I love this. She deserves a man who keeps his word. 11 year old boy steps up to escort his heartbroken little sister to a father daughter dance after her dad stood her up for a second time. Oh man. Woody, I should have made you two wear my spacesuits. You and Rita rest and get well. Oh, it's Tim Allen replying to Tom Hanks. Because, you know, he got coronavirus, but that's that's so wholesome. I love this. There's a soft wee cactus in my hall, and whenever I touch it on passing, I say ouch and pretend it hurt to encourage its confidence. This is better than the kiss cam when it lands on old couples. My daddy's behind the camera. Oh, that is adorable. My dad is the sweetest person ever. I don't have any friends to tell about this, but my dad is seriously the sweetest person. I asked him if he could check on my cats over the weekend while my husband and I were out of town on vacation. We thought he had a spare key, but it turns out the one he had was an old one. He drove two hours to come pick up the key, even after I said I could meet him halfway. He not only has filled their food bowl, but made sure to pet them, clean up any messes they've made, and even talk to them. I have a security camera that I checked to make sure they were okay, and seeing him interacting with them made me tear up. I love my dad so much, and I'm so lucky to have him. Got hearing aids today and cried because my cat purred. I began to lose my hearing about 10 years ago when I was in the military. My husband and I got a cat about five years ago. I've never owned a cat before, so I had no idea what kind of noises they made besides meow, so I had no context for what to expect when I heard my cat purr for the first time today. I was laying in bed, and he jumped up next to me and snuggled into my armpit. I started to feel him vibrate like he always does, and then I heard it. I was so scared at first, I didn't understand what the sound was. Then it clicked. Purring isn't just vibrating, it's a sound. I can hear it. My cat has wandered off now, but I keep bursting into tears just thinking about his purr. I've never heard a cat purr before, and it's so sweet. There's this ethereal quality to it I can't even describe. It has this rhythmic pattern to it. It's all nasally, but low and fluttery. My husband and kids are sleeping, and I don't want to wake them up, but I'll just tell them in the morning. I just wanted to share this joy I'm feeling with someone now. That's that's really sweet, man. I'm, ooh, well, I, I'm good. I'm good. <clears throat> there was some racist rubbish here, but I covered it up with this picture of a cat. Thank you. Grandpa brings dog to furniture store to make sure she likes the chair too. Oh. <laughs> this is Charlene. Charlene is a Walmart employee who poses with products for the store's local Facebook page. Charlene is amazing. True that. Giving him a positive role model. That is good. I asked my dad if I have ever made him cry in front of me before because I don't remember ever seeing him cry. He said once. He told me that when I was three years old, he laid out a pen, a dollar, and a toy of some sort in front of me. He wanted to see which one I would pick. I think that a lot of Chinese people do that. It represents what you'll value most when you grow up. Like the pen is intelligence, money is, well, money, and the toy is fun. He was just doing it out of curiosity and boredom. It was interesting for him to see which one I'd pick anyway. He said that I just sat there and stared at the items. He sat across from me and waited patiently. According to him, I crawled towards them. He held his breath and I pushed everything aside and went right into his arms. He didn't realize that he was one of those choices. And that was the first and the only time I made him cry. Well, now you made me cry. <laughs> yep, and uh, I'm well on my way. Beach litter. A free coffee if you collect a bucket of rubbish off the beach. Buckets available from the coffee shop. Every little bit helps. That's real good. I like that. If they ever try to offer me a part where I'm the drug dealer, the armed robber, and the killer, and then ride off into the sunset with my arm around Jessica Alba, no, I can't do that, man. It's completely the wrong message. Plays a bad guy in all of his movies, requires that his character dies so kids learn crime doesn't pay. No one talked to me. I'm thinking about this crow couple. This crow couple have been together for 12 years. She broke her beak eight years ago in a collision with a car. He has patiently fed her and loved her since. They have babies every year, and she is a good mom. The entire family flock to protect her, living proof that compassion isn't limited to humans. A couple wasn't able to go on their cruise for their 53rd anniversary, so they improvised. Wait, stop scrolling. I think you're cute. Aw. Hey, Dad, I got the job. What? Holy cow, that's out of this world. Never mind. My dad. Me. Special.
spending most of his time at work. Terrible sleep schedule, supporting the family. How was your day, son? Luna knows how much Daisy hates car rides, so she snuggles her to make her feel better. Aww. She took a cardboard cutout of Danny DeVito to her prom, so Danny DeVito took a cardboard cutout of her to the Always Sunny in Philadelphia set. Oh my goodness, I love these cards so much. Oh, where- I want these. Where can I get these? I demand to know. Meet Hurley. He's the curly one. He hugs every other dog he sees during his walk. Oh man. Oh, that's so cute. Guy sets up a dog walking group for men who need a companion to open up about their problems. Hell yeah. Whoa, this dog's saying hello. Hello, dog. Finally, some good news. The animal handlers at the Oregon Zoo took Elephant around to meet some other animals. The sea lions were her favorite. Aw, he looks so happy. Reporter accidentally turns on Facebook filters before going live. That's great. Ever since I was a little kid, I've always wanted to get on a fire truck. I'm tempted to just walk my grown ass over to a fire station and just ask. Oh my god, it worked. <laughs> When the world seems dark, I remind myself that Mr. Rogers once got a letter from a blind girl who wrote that she had heard him say he owned a fish, but she worried they weren't being fed. So at the end of every following show, he'd narrate, I'm feeding the fish just for her. Oh man. I got the job. Thanks for helping me to look more formal. Anytime. Oh. Free meals to all school kids and elderlies is now ready until 1 p.m. Oh, that's real good. This 95-year-old Japanese woman regularly enjoyed playing Tetris on her Game Boy. It eventually broke down, but no shop could repair it. Her grandson wrote a letter to Nintendo explaining the situation. They sent back a brand new one and told her to please live a long life. Oh man, just another reason to love Nintendo. My goodness, please don't send in ghosts. They are very frightening. We only rate dogs, thank you. 12 out of 10. <gasps> happy doggo. There's not much else to say, just the doggo's happy in turn making me happy. And hopefully you too. When I was 8 years old, I found a four leaf clover and gave it to my pop for good luck when he died. I found out he always kept it in his wallet for 20 years. Wow. Yeah, Mickey Mouse is cool and all, but can we talk about Goofy for a sec? He was a single dad who raised his son and when he lost his job he went back to college so he could get a job to support his son that mouse has nothing on this dog it's true having a conversation with my grandma with alzheimer's me it was nice seeing you grandma it was nice remembering you me you remember me grandma i don't remember your name but i remember that i love you oh man <laughs> Oh, that, uh, I'm, 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 stick, I'm sticking to it. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. A dog. So cute. Can we pet you? Why is he always rolling around in the grass? <laughs> I love this. A different perspective. My sister proposed to her girlfriend today, and look at that older woman's reaction. Oh, that's, that's, that's so good. I love this. Wow. Remember when everyone was clowning on me for buying a trampoline? Well, now we're all trapped in our house exactly when the weather gets better, and I got a trampoline. Hell yeah, dude. You bounce on that trampoline. Prisoners in Indiana were rewarded with a cat for good behavior. This is a prisoner with his cat and the nice hat he knit for him. Aw. Pizza Place helps local shelter get dogs adopted by putting their photos on pizza boxes. Everyone liked that, including me. The moment my dog and husband realized I was in the car beside them. <laughs> I love that. It's so good. I house slash dog sit for my friends of my parents. The first time I did it, they mentioned they had a security camera by the front door that was motion activated, and I didn't really think any of it. They were gone for a few weeks. They come home. Their two giant huskies are happy. I get paid, and all was well. A couple weeks later, my mom calls me laughing and laughing. My parents had dinner with the friends. I dog sit, and they showed me a video to my parents uh, from the front door cam. Apparently, all it showed was me sprinting full speed down the hallway, a dog toy in my hand, biggest stupid grin on my face, followed by the the two huskies running and sliding after me, followed by me, followed by the huskies, over and over and over and over again. I sit for them as often as I can. Congratulations to James for working hard on his citizenship. He was granted his U.S. citizenship last week. We are so proud of you and your hard work and accomplishments. Congrats, James. My mom is just starting to learn what memes are, and this is the most wholesome text I've ever received. When you check your phone and see the text is from your daughter. Aw. Aw, they're dressed up as each other. That's so cute. Oh man. A family lost their dog during Hurricane Sandy after searching for 1.5 years and giving up hope, they decided to adopt another dog. The adoption counselor brought in the first candidate, and it was actually their lost dog. Oh, 